how in the fuck did this get so magnetized so quick? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. This fucking wallet just broke. Yay. Oh my god. Happy fucking Tuesday, everyone. I missed two therapy appointments last week because my dumbass took naps instead and was like, oh shit, I had an appointment. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Hi everyone. Okay, so I got a monster on my forehead this morning before I left for class. Um, my hair is up in a beanie right now because it is a mess. Um, excuse me. I got in, like an argument with my mom this morning because she's like, you'll never understand. And it was because I, I told my cousin, apparently my cousin told her aunt, because I assumed that they um, they broke up because we were moving back in our, apart our, our house, our condo. And um, what was it? Apparently they weren't broken up. But the fact that I just mentioned it, like on my Snapchat that I was moving back, it was like I told like the president basically and she was just very upset and she's like that's like putting my business out there and I'm like but you do realize that you're not the only one that's having to deal with all of this I'm the one that had to move all my stuff into a home for not even two weeks then move back out like I had to do all of that because you wanted to live with your boyfriend um I had to do all that for that reason and then of course it was like the first two weeks of school so, um that really fucked everything up because I, then i had to move everything back and then of course i get things are lost i lost a paper that i needed for class and it's just it honestly was the worst thing i've ever like experienced personally this was the worst move i'd have to say versus moving back to texas after my parents got a divorce it was, I got used to living somewhere for like two weeks. She's like, well, I'm sorry that you're just sensitive because I took off because like it was right in the beginning of the morning. I just woke up and then she just like gets upset at me like, well, did you, did you tell your dad? And I was like, yeah, I told him that we moved back. And then she like blew up on me. She's like, you need to not tell him my, my personal life. And I'm like, but it's my life too. That's the thing. There's a difference in the matter. I understand it's your business, but it's also my life. Your life wasn't the only one that was messed up. Mine got messed up because things didn't work out and we had to move back. And it's just very frustrating. I love her to death. I love her like so much. And like I said, she's not the only one that's life got messed up. Okay, hi, I just got out of Walgreens. I got the last one. I know I probably didn't need it, but I kind of need it because I don't have a bank. I used to have a piggy bank, but I don't anymore. So now I have this one. It's so cool. Oh, shoot. Can you see it? Yeah, it's the last one. What's up, guys? I'm going to go see Venom. I'm so hyped. I'm not ready because I've heard mixed reviews, but I'm so hyped. Let's go. Got my most laziest outfit on because fuck. Fuck dressing up. It's just the movie theaters. I'm gonna grab my Spider-Man blanket and we're gonna be good to go, guys. Yay! I actually have my parlor in here. Oh, he's still in here. Whoops. I'm sorry, bud, but I need my Spider-Man blanket. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I need my blanket, please. Thank you very much. All right. I'll see you when I get home, okay? All right, we're off. We're officially off. Oh, shit. All right, Mama loves you. I'm just gonna go watch a movie by herself because no one wanted to see Venom with me. So, yeah. Okay, so that's. I'm gonna put this in here. Literally, so fucking lazy. Like, I don't get the point of dressing up unless you're like in a relationship and you got so like cute, but no. I never did when I was in a relationship, though. I was hella comf. Excuse this. Oh, my God. Um, I want to do a movie review, like, not any spoilers. And then I'm going to do a poll and ask you guys if you want me to do a review with spoilers. And I'll put spoilers on there so you don't watch that video if you don't want to hear my opinions on the whole movie. So, yeah. Um, that is atrocious. What the fuck did that come from?
I literally almost forgot my Spider-Man blanket. Are you kidding me? I hate myself. I'm just gonna drive now. I'm not mentally ready. Ow! I ripped my weave. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. What the fuck? Okay, guys. I just got to the movie theater, aka MSC Movie Theater in San Antonio, Texas. My favorite theater since I've been going as a kid. Um, yeah. So... If you're ever in San Antonio and you go to this movie theater, it's my fave. So, if you're going somewhere where I live, this hair would love to stay in its place. Um, I'm gonna head inside. Love you guys. And I will see you after the movie. Oh my god. I literally got here six minutes before the movie starts. So, hopefully, the line's not hella long so I can get my snacks. <laughs> Just got done seeing Venom, got my fucking cup. This looks so dramatic. Look at this shit. Look at my lips. Okay. I'm emotionally dead after this. The guy at the bar is really hot. I'm gonna hold it right here. Overall, really good. I'm gonna do a more in-depth video when I get home. Um, let's see. The overall pace of the movie was really fast, but I liked it because there was not like a moment where I was bored per se. Um, commentary for Venom, the character-wise, loved it. Really loved how they portrayed him. Really do. Um, holding it down low because people are like looking at me like a fucking nuts. This cup is so dope. Best seven bucks I ever spent at the fucking movie theater. Best seven bucks. Yes, I'm filming a tot. Stop fucking looking at me. Staring is rude. Did your mother ever teach you that? It's odd seeing somebody like film, but don't like stare at them. <laughs> Holy fuck. That movie was good. Um, like I was saying though, when I was walking out, the audio was probably like super awful and shit but um also i'm not wearing a necklace which is really odd for me soundtrack the soundtrack and then the rolling credits song oh my fucking god like the, it's oh my god perhaps eminem has snapped because oh my god was it amazing there's moments where i was like i had some moments of doubt and then there was it got replaced by good stuff um oh my god was this good i I feel like there were things that they could have done differently. Obviously, that's with every movie that I see, pretty much. But um, for what they did, I think they did a really good job. Now, I love Stan Lee's cameo. I will put this in my spoiler video, but his cameo was the cutest shit ever. I love him so much. Venom Cup review. <laughs> Unboxing channels are quaking right now. They can't compete to me right now as the the movie name, but it looks really fucking dope. It's a movie poster basically. They always give you like uh, these like paper cups. Now I have an actual cup, so I can bring this shit all the time. Thought you can waste my money. Jokes on you. Oh, I want to talk about it, but I can't. I just want to talk about it, but I can't. Uh, in my opinion, I thought it was really good. My coworker Ethan's like, eh, it's a seven. And I'm just like, <laughs> you go back to being a DC whore. <laughs> this beauty has graced my face, so yeah. Mm -hmm. She's beauty, she's grace. She'll have venom punch you in your face. I don't know what that was. <laughs> and then, can we just talk about Tom Hardy being the all time snack in this movie? When you watch this movie, you will understand. Like, holy fuck. I wanted him to put me in a chokehold, crush me with his eyes, punch me in the face, kick me in the face. I don't care what he does to me. I just... Wow. He looks so fucking good. A man. A man that I stand. Who looks like that? Wow. These men, these celebrity men, make it so hard for me to date ordinary men. Like, really hard, because I expect some Tom Hardy, I expect some Tom Hollands, I expect some BTS members and shit, and I don't get any of that. I just get standard white boy trash here. Oh, 